Hello, welcome, and thank you for watching. The title of today's short talk is Discovering Terence McKenna. One of the most interesting and brilliant human beings I have ever come across is Terence McKenna. I first heard him about 11 years ago while I was watching an interview with Graham Hancock on YouTube. And Graham Hancock mentioned how much he loved listening to Terence McKenna talks. So with such a glowing recommendation, I decided to search for Terence McKenna on YouTube. And I started to watch the first Terence McKenna video that I came across. And my first impression was not good. He had a really peculiar nasally whiny voice which I found really annoying and after about one minute I just stopped watching. However, as fate would have it, a few days later while I was searching for Rupert Sheldrake on YouTube, I came across a trialogue with Rupert Sheldrake, Ralph Abraham and you guessed it, Terence McKenna. I started to watch it and I soon realized that I had been far too quick to judge Terence. I soon understood what an amazing and unique thinker and communicator he is. I searched for his latest video and soon discovered that he had passed away in the year 2000. I was surprised how shocked this sad news made me feel. I thought to myself, how could I have missed hearing about him while he was still alive? I wish I had had the benefit of his insights and ideas from an early age. However, better late than never, and I'm grateful for all the interesting talks that Terence has left for us on YouTube. The first reason that I love listening to Terence is that he is by far the best communicator I have ever come across with the exception of one other, and that would be Bashar, as channeled by Daryl Anker. He articulates his ideas with such crystal clarity and eloquence. Admirers often refer to him as the great bard, and for good reason. Another reason I love listening to him is that I love the way he thinks. He has taught me the importance of entertaining ideas rather than holding firm beliefs. Terrace mentions again and again that he doesn't believe in anything. I also admire his dry, scathing wit. He can be quite intimidating and doesn't suffer fools well, a bit like John Lennon in that way. The third and best reason is that his talks are just so delicious. They are juicy and spicy and astonishing and amazing and they give the mind so much nourishment that you can chew over them for hours and days after like a contented dog chewing on a bone. Terence's talks are the good stuff. Terence's talks cover shamanism, psychedelic drugs and plants, the history of alchemy and Gnosticism the archaic revival, and the importance of self-education through his words, the felt presence of direct experience. He also talks about technology and the future and many other interesting things. And he, of course he has some famous one-liners such as, culture is not your friend, and mainstream media spreading darkness at the speed of light. Terence may have may be gone, but his knowledge, wisdom and information is inspiring new generations of explorers courageously venturing into relationships with sacred plant medicines. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Goodbye.